Hi Capricorn, this is your love and relationship uh, or romance general tarot reading. Let's get started. Okay Capricorn, this first card is your expectations, hopes, and fears for love. Second card is going to represent the obstacle or the challenge to overcome. Third card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. Okay, Capricorn. So let's see what we got here for your current expectations, hopes, desires for love. We have the two of pentacles. We have a strong earth energy here, which is you Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And as you can see, this person is juggling on one foot. <laughs> so got their work cut out for them. And as they are wearing this beautiful gold tunic, there are these huge ships in the background, kind of, you know, stormy seas. And, you know, it's not crazy stormy, but there's stuff going on under the surface. So what I feel like is happening for you is, you know, Cur you know Capricorn, you are very success minded and it is a big part of your life. So I do feel that in regards to love, you are also making material decisions, financial decisions. And in regards to love, you are also juggling and somehow this is all connected. And because this is general, it's going to relate to everyone differently, but we have a two. So you could be juggling between two lovers. You know, it's like you're weighing, you're weighing the potential. Um, this is kind of about an up and down feeling too, like in love. So I do feel that some of you might one day be feeling pretty optimistic about it. And the next day, not so much. Uh, I also feel that if you've been dating or you're in a relationship or just the whole romance thing in general, you're being kind of kept on your toes and you are, you know, it is what it is. You are concerned about money. Uh, financial stress could be affecting love and romance and it could affect your moods, you know, based on what's going on with your finances and where things are at with work and career, it's affecting how you feel about your relationship or just love in general. So this is a very ambitious energy. So you obviously are working very hard. Um, you're you're working to make things happen and you have long-term goals and you know that you have to work hard. And so this is also about you willing to work hard for your relationship. If you're in a relationship, you know, you're looking at the long-term success. You're not in it for just the moment and for instant gratification. Uh, you know, if you're serious about relationship, you want, you're willing to do the work to make it work. So this is kind of about cash flow. Like you're almost waiting for your ships to come in. You want the, the ships to come in and this could affect what you do and where you plan to go in your relationship. And even though this is kind of temporary, it's still keeping you on your toes. You're having a lot of demands and you're having to learn how to multitask. So how to balance, you know, career, family, friends, relationships, dating, and just kind of trying to adapt to everything that's being thrown at you. But you're learning a lot and that's the beautiful thing. It's in the upright position Capricorn. So I feel like you're doing a really good job. Um, you're refining your skills. And this is also about finding balance and moderation. So I also feel that you're trying to feel that out, what that looks like for you. If you are in a relationship, you know, trying to keep everything happy and afloat. For some of you, if you are in the dating world or if you started dating, this could be you juggling between two partners that, and, and what's going to make them more attractive to you is their financial status. Okay. That is important to you because you have this, you know, this gold cape. And so you're going to be looking like, what can this person bring to the table? Do they bring their, their part of the, you know, their fair share? So their financial status and kind of where their status are at is at in life, uh, is going to be an issue for some of you that are in a relationship. You might just be looking at how much things are going to cost. Maybe things have been more than you thought they were going to be. And you're really just, you know, there could be for some of you, the challenges like a financial strain, or you're just really evaluating all the money that's going out and coming in. I feel that some of you are trying to fit a relationship into an already hectic lifestyle and you're just, you're, you're finding it hard to make time for it. 
Okay, so as far as the challenge or the obstacle, we have the lover's card. Now on the surface, the lover's is the sign of Gemini. So some of you might be dealing with a Gemini person. But the lovers are really about becoming aware of relationships in your life. And you're really looking at relationships, okay? And you're making dis important decisions. I mean, we have a two here, and then we also have decisions about relationships. So I do feel that you're going to have to really start considering the relationships that you have invested in in your life and which ones you want to continue to invest in and which ones just aren't really furthering or advancing where you want to go. And this also at the core, at the root of it, it's also about you looking at the relationship you have with yourself. I feel that you're Capricorn, you're just kind of evaluating relationships in general. What does that mean to you? What, how does this all play out with, you know, success and, and status and prestige and sexual attraction and personality compatibility. And, you know, you're just, you're really looking at all these things. What does relationship truly mean for you? And what, what is currently in your life? This is also about learning to love yourself, Capricorn. So I do feel that you're realizing that before you can truly commit yourself to anyone else, you have to love yourself first. You have to truly be happy with yourself, be content before you can give your heart to another and experience you know, a true loving relationship in all its pleasure and form. And you've got a lot of decisions going on here. So like I said, you've got a two here. And because this is Gemini, Gemini is always about kind of the duality. And one of their challenges is learning how to decide what they want. Therefore, it's kind of about making your own decisions. It's almost about you, Capricorn. You're having to make core values for yourself and determine what it is you really want for yourself and for your relationships. And that is not always easy to articulate because we constantly change when we evolve and sometimes it's hard to know what will truly make ourselves happy. So this is definitely um, an evaluating for you. The challenge here is to make sure that you're looking at all sides of the equation because Gemini does have the ability to see from different aspects, different angles and look at your situation from both sides of the situation from the masculine side, from the feminine side, so that you can come to the best decision for you. And in order to do this, I feel that the universe is asking you to take your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual needs all into account. You can't just focus on one thing. So if you're tempted to just focus all on the external or their status or their financial you know, ability, um, that's not going to make you ultimately happy because you know, you have a mind, body, soul, spirit. You have to take all those things into account when making a decision in regards to love. And this is also about communication. So you may be challenged to be able to communicate and express what you're feeling, what you're thinking in your relationship or dating. So if you are in a relationship, Capricorn, it's going to be about you examining the level and quality of your communication. How are you speaking with others? Are you getting your point across? Is it done in a way that, that you can express yourself and they can also understand you? Um, it's about a relationship remaining healthy, active, and moving forward. And you know, keeping that strong two-way flow of communication. So this is about both sides of, you know, both couple, you know, both partners being able to express their own needs, desires, and feelings, even their likes and their dislikes, but also being able to listen to the partner in order to, to maintain that healthy balance. And this is also about you being open and honest and feeling safe with your partner. So those are kind of some of the spiritual lessons I feel that you're going to be kind of learning and working on. Okay. So. The outcome and the realization for some of you, we have the 10 of wands here. Oh boy. So for some of you, you're going to feel burdened if you're in a relationship or this just kind of shows you taking on too much responsibility. I mean, you got 10 wands and you're trucking up the hill. That's a lot of work. So some of you might be feeling like, you know, you are having to shoulder all the responsibility in your relationship. And you feel all, you feel a lot of pressure to be successful. This can be about one partner making all the effort while the other one doesn't do anything. 
you might be working hard all day and then you know your partner you come home and they're not doing a whole lot <laughs> So this is about you kind of being, realizing you might be a little tired, you might be frazzled, and you might realize you need more time for yourself. This can also be about you realizing that things are different behind closed doors than they truly are on the, you know, to everybody else. This can be about concealing what's really bothering you um, and hiding it, and, or it could be about a partner hiding something from you. This is also kind of about feeling like it's only one person's fault. Um, or this could be you're just so busy with work that you really have no time for relationships. You're just concentrating on all of the duties, responsibilities, and your path to success, and you're kind of burdened by it, but that's all you're focused on. This person's head is down, and they're just focused on that situation. This can also talk about, you know, you just feel like this relationship, if you're in one, is a lot of hard work and you feel that you should be enjoying it more. This is about worrying, worrying over money, work, family, health, you know, whatever. And, and this is encouraging though, because if you are in this together, then you should weather the storm together and just be confident that things will improve, that this too shall pass. So I do feel Capricorn that you are definitely being challenged to grow because you do feel a strong sense of ambition, success, um, that you are responsible to create this, whether this is in your life, in your work, in your relationship. And I just want to hope for some of you that this is helping you that it's okay for you to say no. It's okay for you to take time for yourself. Um, it's okay for you to step away from work and to, to love and nurture yourself and, and allow yourself time to rest because I do feel that that's going to be a little bit of a challenge in relationship. So I really hope this has helped you. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to this channel. That's going to make sure that you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. So Capricorn, I really appreciate you watching and have an awesome rest of your day.